At its core, Cantonese white cut chicken is just boiled chicken. But it's also about getting the timing and texture right, which makes all the difference between this and this. Hi, I'm Johnny Lee. I'm a chef based in Los Angeles. My family immigrated to America from the uh, Toisan region of China. That's where a lot of Cantonese immigrants during the 70s and 80s came from. I think I came to the realization that if I'm not cooking the dishes that I grew up with, I'm worried that no one else will be within my generation. Just looking around, I don't see too many other Cantonese American chefs. I don't see too many Cantonese Americans in general in my field. I like to think that chicken is a very versatile ingredient in Chinese cooking. So the process of making white cut chicken usually involves first uh, seasoning the chicken with salt and then bringing water to a boil. Usually you have a few aromatics that help season the, the broth. That will usually be ginger and green onions. After that, it just kind of takes you know, from 25 to 35 minutes. If you have a really fat big chicken, it can take an hour. But today we're cooking a three, a three and a half pound chicken. The chicken goes into an ice bath to stop the cooking and so that we can more easily cut it. If you kind of think of white cut chicken as the mother chicken dish, from that, you can take it many ways. This is just so many variations. Um, you can do soy sauce chicken, which is a similar concept, but now you're cooking in soy sauce. Or you can deep fry it and then serve it with like a ginger soy sauce, like a crispy soy chicken, you know? Then there's more elaborate banquet dishes. You can debone a chicken and stuff it with shrimp paste. Among my generation, I don't see too many of us cooking our own food anymore. It's always whatever's trendy, whatever's popular in the Western world right now, you know? People have high interest in like other things like Japanese food. And that's fine, but one thing I'm worried about is if my next generation relatives grow up and they want to be able to connect and experience the cuisine of their culture, if they don't have the opportunity, I think that's going to be kind of like tragic. For more videos on Chinese poultry, check out the links below and don't forget to subscribe.